Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another pick 5 video and let's get started. Number one on my list is my new Tim Holtz Distress Paint in Broken China. Very pretty blue color. Number two is my American Crafts Rub-Ons Mini Marks and I think they're party themed. I think. So those are just white rub-ons. Third on the list is this Folk Art Home Decor Stencil Set. So there's three stencils in this pack and I'll use one. Fourth on the list is this My Mind's Eye sticker sheet that I got in the mail. And fifth is the Sea Glass Craftsmith 12x12 paper pad from Michaels that I got. It's so beautiful. Now let's get into the layout. So for my layout, I have three photos of my boyfriend and I at the zoo with this bird. Now there's one section at the zoo that has, it's called like the rainforest section or something or other, and the birds fly around freely. So there's this bird who was sitting, I didn't even notice him until he already walked by him. And then we had to go back and take photos, but he was just sitting right there on the rail. And I really wanted to do a layout um, pointing at this bird in all of our photos with him, because I thought he was really cute. I should have named him. But I'm going to be using this stencil and tracing it onto some pattern paper from the craft stack here. Sorry if you can hear the cars outside. I've explained it before, but I don't have air conditioning and it's 80 degrees, so I need to have the windows open. But I'm going to trace this uh, Moroccan themed shape. I don't know what shape this is. Does anybody know that this shape has a name? It's Moroccan inspired. And then I'm going to cut it out. And ta-da! It's cut out. I should have cut two of these. I think it would have looked nice if I had done uh, two of them. One in each corner, kind of. But I like the way the one looks. And now I have pulled out a few tabs and tags from my stash. And I'm looking to find an eyelet to fit this little green tag. And I find one and then I'll use my crocodile to um, set that eyelet. So as I said before, I'm going to be using um, these wood veneers to point out all the picture, or all the same bird in all of the pictures. And I also am using some black thread to give the layout some texture. And now I've been thinking about what to do with this distress paint, and I'm having trouble because I know I have thin cardstock, and that if I just put it on the background, it won't really work. So I leave the paint for now, and I think of, I'll think of something to do with it later. But I start looking at these stickers for the my mind's eye sheet here and I find one that says date so I can put the date on it and that's perfect so I stick that on there so I'm using this rub on it's one rub on but I cut it in half to use in two places and apparently I'm doing something with this paint oh yes I pick out two of these um, chipboard leaves and I decided to put um, some of this distress paint on them. It's not the exact color I wanted, but I did the challenge and I used it, so <laughs> I guess it counts. So now I'm going to be um, adding these rub-ons. Do you guys use rub-ons much anymore? I feel like a lot of people don't sell them, so they're hard to find. But these ones are super old. I bought them at clearance at Big Lots. And they were only like $1.50 or something for the pack, so... And they're probably like five years old maybe, but a good deal, and they still work beautifully. So I'm great, happy about that, but I'm trying to use them all up before they go bad. So now I'm going to place this one up here. I know a lot of people talk about the triangle, your triangular um, techniques to move the eye around the page. But as I've said before, you don't always have to do that. Sometimes you can do what I've done and repeat the elements in at least two spots, and that'll help make the page more cohesive and if you're using a collection kit like I used um, cut up parts from this paper pad and I used um, some of the sheets from the paper pad that'll help um, create a cohesiveness to your layout which is what everyone's usually looking for so I've decided to mount all of my photos on some of this very pretty blue cardstock I believe it's the 
brand they sell at Joann's, but I'm not 100% sure. I take all my cardstock out of the um, wrappers, and as you can see, my cat's right there. She likes to play with things when she's not supposed to, and not move when she needs to. But <laughs> So I'm just going to start gluing all of this down. And I don't know why I haven't glued the photo down yet, but I will. Don't worry. So now all of my photos are mounted and I'm just trying to align the clusters to where I want them. Now um, I also glued down some of my photos already, but I actually forgot to glue down the um, piece in the back there that used the stencil. So you'll see me glue that down in a little bit because I almost forgot to glue it down completely. And now that my chipboard pieces are dry, I'm going to put those into position. And soon I'll be able to glue everything down. Now a problem with this layout, besides that um, it looks kind of busy to me at least. I try to leave a lot of white space, but I'm not good at the white space, so it's okay. But one of the problems I had with this layout was I didn't have a title. I had a title in mind. I just had no idea what letters I was going to use for it. And it was very hard for me to find letters in my stash that would work. I'm jealous of all you people who have like 50 things of thickers because I think I have less than 10. And I love thickers. I love dimensional titles, but I have so many stickers, letter stickers, that I can't bear to buy thickers if I have all these letter stickers. So I found some in the end and they're just some um, ones from Recollections and then another pack from October Afternoon. And it works out, so it doesn't bother me too much, but man, do I love a good thicker. Especially white ones. I feel like I always want white thickers, and I only have one pack, and like all the E's are gone, so they're almost useless because I use a lot of E's. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for this layout. I'll just be adding my title, which you'll see in a little bit, and then some final touches, like some gemstones or enamel dots or whatever you call them. I never know what they're called because everybody calls them enamel dots because that's what they use but I use like the rhinestone ones still because I have so many but who knows what they're called. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I completed another pick five challenge and if you guys do pick fives please let me know or grab fives whatever you call them. I would love to watch. I think they're so interesting to see what people pick. Because most of the time I know exactly what photos I'm going to use, but I know some people just pick random things and then try to use them. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by.